God is great and sweet. I would believe only in a God who could dance, wrote German philosopher Friedrich Nietzsche. During his times, God was generally portrayed as a frozen perfection, remote, static, and wholly unsociable. No wonder Nietzsche was disillusioned. He might have been pleasantly surprised to hear about Krishna, the God who dances with spellbinding expertise on the hoods of the venomous serpent Kalaya, the God who dances to the tune of his mother just to get butter, the God who dances with the Gopis during the Rasa Lila, a celebration of divine love, the God known as Vrindavana Natabara, the best dancer in the pastoral paradise of Vrindavana. Krishna is a mesmerizing blend of greatness and sweetness. All theistic traditions assert that God is great. Krishna graphically demonstrates that greatness. In the 11th chapter of the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna gives Arjuna a glimpse of his awe-inspiring greatness by displaying his universal form, one of the greatest mystical visions in world literature. Arjuna saw within the universal form, within Krishna, everything and everyone in existence. He saw all the planets, stars, and universes as well as all living beings, whether celestial, terrestrial, or subterranean. When Krishna was on earth, he also exhibited his omnipotence by effortlessly conquering numerous powerful demons who were the scourges of the universe. Most endearingly, Krishna delights not in the magnificence of godhood, but in the sweetness of uninhibited love. This brings us to a concept unique to Vedic theology, that of Lila or transcendental pastimes, as well as to a related concept, Maya.